We want to look at what are called saccade pencils now. These are very, very, again, simple tools. We like them because you can give them to your patients so that they can do work at home. There are a multitude of exercises that you can use these simple tools uh, to perform. The first one that I usually start off with is just called a pencil push-up. So your athlete's going to hold uh, the pencil. They'll pick one of the letters, hopefully one that they can see clearly. And then we give two different instructions. Uh, instruction number one is I want you to bring that letter into the tip of your nose as closely as you can without having it split into two. And if I was coaching her, I would be looking at her eyes to see, do her eyes move symmetrically? Does one not enjoy playing with the other? Uh, so you can use it basically as a diagnostic tool. Um, and it doesn't have to be done with the pencil, but this is nice because the letter allows you to also get some indication of clarity. So we watch that. Um, and then obviously we have appropriate corrective drills if we have one eye that's not working well. After we do pencil push-ups, we then want to move into what's called saccade testing. So now she's gonna have two pencils. Uh, she's gonna hold them out at arm's length and basically shoulder width. And let's have you turn so you've got the letters. So now she has letters on each side. I'm gonna have her start on this top letter on the left. And whenever I say go, she's going to switch to the top letter on the right. And then she's just gonna start working her way back and forth down the column. All right, go and just go switch back and forth. So it's a little bit like reading, but she obviously now has a specific focal target that she's working toward. As a coach, I would be watching to see, does she move better to the left, better to the right? Uh, does she get confused as she has to switch back and forth? We're also looking at the speed of response. Now, as she's working on that, this is something I can have her do at home. And while this seems like a very simple exercise, it's very important for, uh, in the neurocentric training world because it gives you a lot of information about the brain. If I were doing this with her, I would give her different movement cues. So if I were now using the pencils, I would be in this position, start on the blue pencil. Now I can give her auditory commands. Go, 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 go. So I can give a broken rhythm for the auditory commands. That requires more concentration on her part. I can also use uh, movement commands. So whenever you, I'm gonna start on the blue. When you see the white move, you'll switch. So now we're triggering her response based off a visual cue as opposed to an auditory cue. So that would be, again, basic saccade practice, saccade testing. And then finally, you can use these very simply for what we call accommodation drills. So she's gonna hold one pencil uh, about 10 centimeters from her eyes, and then it, she'll also pick a uh, target that is in the distance. The distance target should be somewhere between maybe 20 and 30 meters in the distance. Uh, she'll look at the close target. Whenever the close target is clear, she'll then switch her visual uh, focus to the distance target. And the rule is she can only switch back to here when that one becomes clear. What you typically see are people that need five, six seconds for this to become clear, and that's a big problem if you're an athlete. It's also one of the things that we see with aging eyes. So saccade pencils, you can do a lot of different things with them. They're very, very powerful tools. Uh, so these are just a few exercises for you to get started with.